So they've got to liberate their salespeople to sell themselves first before they're selling the company. I'm here again with Tony Hughes, friend of mine, author, speaker, uh, and author of one of the best books I've ever read on sales, The Joshua Principle. Welcome, Tony. Thanks, John. Tony, in the last couple of discussions we've had, we've talked a lot about uh, various t uh, trends in sales and so on, and, and you've raised the word social a few times. Uh, and I was really interested to get more insight in, in, from you on what that means. And I've noticed you've been very active in the world of social, particularly on LinkedIn with a lot of the posting of articles you've done recently, which have been brilliant. Thank you very much for the Thank value you. you brought to the table on those. So I'd really like to get your view on what social means and how it's changing the way we approach the, the sales world. Yeah, I think social is really misunderstood. And, 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 and the main problem is that people talk about social selling and I think social selling is relevant in the business to consumer world where you're wanting to project a message and really engage with the masses. Business to business selling has really been relationship driven and I, I don't think that will ever go away. Uh, but the, the, the power of social selling in a business to business world is actually in building a brand because buyers increasingly today will research you. Even if you leave them a voicemail, leave them a message, send them an email, you know, you're trying to get that early engagement meeting with someone senior Increasingly today, they'll research you before they decide whether they will take that meeting. And your brand need to, needs to support the fact that you're a domain expert, not make you look like a lower level salesperson. So if you've got a LinkedIn profile that says quota crusher in all of the things that it's got there, it's really your CV for the next job. That's, that, that's the first big mistake. Yes, I understand that. Actually, I had a classic case recently with somebody I was working with coaching, a salesperson who, who has done a great job recently of building a profile. Uh, and they're now finding that whenever they leave a voicemail, they're getting ma many, many more people coming back to them because what they do is, who's this? LinkedIn, and they see this value coming from this person in relation to the customer's wow. business. Big, big change. Yeah, and, and LinkedIn is incredibly powerful, especially when combined with Twitter. So I definitely agree with that. The second thing that's really important is to not think about social as a, as a, a place to project messages through multiple channels, right? That's more relevant in B2C, but in mm -hmm. the business to business world, the, the second thing to be aware of, so the first thing is build a strong brand for people that research you. Mm -hmm. the, the, the second thing is think of social listening. Think of social research. Right, Use the old social. trigger thing. Exactly, yeah, yeah. The, old, the old trigger event thing. So, so listen for people changing roles. Listen for things going on in the marketplace, including complaints. You know, I, mm -hmm. I recently did a little test where uh, I, I actually put a complaint up on Twitter, hashtagging the airline, saying they're about to lose me as a... As a, as a valuable customer, I'd achieve the highest level that you can achieve as a, as a mm -hmm. frequent flyer with them. And I'd become unhappy and was thinking of changing. And I, I hashtagged them multiple times to see whether they were doing social listening to use that as a sales opportunity to save a client. And okay, but that's B2C. What about B2B? Same thing? Well, yes. And, and here's the reason. This, this is a profound thing, and that is to think about business to business to customer. One of the most powerful things we can do in B2B selling is to think about our customer's customer. If we're aware of the problems that our customer has got with, within their marketplaces with the people that they're selling to, now we become someone who can turn up with some insight and be focused on them and their problems rather than on us and what it is that we sell. Uh, the other thing, uh, you know, I do a lot of work in personal branding, and I'm just finding so many organisations now are, are, look, are helping each one of their, their customer-facing people, salespeople, consultants, and so on, to build a very strong, valuable personal brand that the customers are going to respond to. And, of course, the power of many with a single focus is, is extremely powerful. So the organisation, it's not just an individual can benefit from their personal profile, an organisation can benefit substantially from having their, hot, their, their workforce, particularly the customer faces, facing workforce, focused on putting valuable messages out there to the customer and, and interacting, engaging. And, and the other thing is I hate is social, the word social selling. We, ne we don't yeah. sell on social, right? No. But we do engage. We absolutely do. And, and I know you do a lot of work with people to help build their own brands on, on social media platforms, which is so important. Because one of the decisions an employer's got to make and that they'll have to get there eventually, I think the sooner they do it, the better, is they've got to liberate their salespeople to sell themselves first before they're selling the company. People buy the salesperson 
and that level of trust before they're going to buy the product or service or solution so they're selling. So help people build great trusted brands, equip them to become true industry experts and have insights and go and engage. They buy the person, the product or solution will come in behind it and just accept that. Accept the fact that the person is the product before what the company is selling actually is. Great advice, Tony, and I thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to us. Thanks, Thanks John. Thank you.